Do you have a, a spell that can turn a woman into a raging nymphomaniac? <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's very easy. It's just play hard to get. So if you ignore them and are rude to them, it starts to work. But if you like them and you chase after them, they're going to get colder and colder and cut you down. And if they don't want babies and they've got their own car, a well-paid job, what do they need a male ticket for? Women are seen as reward for men who pay the mortgage and carry the bags and write poems. They don't need a male slave. And they begin to imagine enjoying sex for the first time. They're assuming women don't enjoy it. A big mistake to make. Now we're hearing rumours of a strange thing called the female orgasm. If you know how to handle them, women enjoy sex more than men. It turns out the female orgasm is more powerful than the male orgasm. A minor twitch by comparison. Well, there isn't a reason to think that in future we might see its sexuality as a female psychological necessity rather than male. And you know that human female is the only animal in the known universe who has a sexual orgasm? No other animal does. And apart from the given, they're the only female who's always on heat. We thought they were pure lovely creatures who shut their eyes with the of England. If a girl enjoys sex, is she thinking of the man's pleasure? Not for a second. I'm sorry, chaps, but the days of us enjoying sex are coming to an end. And the only men who really enjoy sex anyway are homosexuals, you know. Men don't enjoy it that much. They make out they do. They enjoy the ego trip I scored. Oh. They like the boasting and the bragging. They like the female saying, the earth moved, you're wonderful. They don't go for pleasure much at all. Men don't even like pleasure much. They like pain more.